Uh, we're talking to Annabel Thomas from McNeon Distillery. Is it pronounced correctly now? That is exactly right. Okay. <laughs> Can you tell me what it means? Yes. So it comes originally from an old Gallic goddess. Um, she was known as a protector of nature and for walking her own path, so we chose her to represent what we're doing. Um, but Nook in particular means daughter of. It's like Muk. So MacDonald means son of Donald, Nook means daughter of. Right. And nature is what surrounds your distillery. Can you point out where it is? Because yes. I think not everybody knows it. It's here. Um, this is the Isle of Mull. Uh, this is Fort William up here. Glasgow is all the way down here. So we are three hours-ish north of Glasgow, right out on the west coast. And it's not easy to reach, is it? It's not. <laughs> <laughs> so you drive up Loch Lomond through Glencoe, then you have to take a ferry, even though it's on the mainland, and there's another hour of driving on very small roads. So tell us something about the distillery. When was it founded? How does it work? What are they trying to do there? So I started working on the project in 2013, but it wasn't until 2017 we started distilling. Um, I think there's two really important things about what we're trying to do. One is around sustainability. So everything that we make is organic. Mm. We only use organic Scottish barley. We only use renewable energy. And there are some photos behind me actually. So this is the wood chip that mm. we use to fuel the distillery. It all comes from the forest, literally next to the distillery. So there's no road miles involved. So um, this is built in an old farmhouse, it's is it? It's in an old farm building. So okay. this kind of, it's like a square but with one right. side missing. It's a very traditional Scottish building. They were used for farm buildings all over the country. Before we started, it was in a very bad way. So we had to do a big restoration project on it and also try and fit all the equipment inside, which was Where did you difficult. get your stills from? We got them from a company called LH Stainless. Mm -hmm. um, so until our distillery was built, I think almost all the stills in Scotland had come from Forsyth, but they had a very long waiting list. Right and LH Stainless just started making copper, so we took a bit of a risk, but it paid off because they were fantastic to work with. So. How would you then describe the distillery style of the, the new make? Um, we are, well, we actually have multiple recipes. Right. So there is no one style, but we have what we think of as our core, which um, we're aiming for something light and fruity. Um, so we have, um, lots of little things that we do differently in the distilling process so we use different yeasts for example to create lots of fruity flavors and we also have quite high cut points which makes it light and quite pure mm. so we're going to something really delicious and very drinkable even when it's young are you going uh, the peated route as well or? no peat no peat for two reasons one is because i would like to think that our whiskey might be attractive to people who don't drink whiskey at the moment i think peat can be quite mm. difficult but also it's not great from a sustainability point of view to dig up peat and burn it. So that's another another reason not to right. do it. So we tried this beautiful new make you, you brought with you here at Nuremberg. Uh, when do you think the first whiskey will be available? Hopefully this summer. I Definitely see. in 2020. Right. Hopefully in the summer, if not in the autumn. And do you plan to have releases with different cask finishes or do you want to release the first releases uh, just bourbon casks? Um, no, it will be, we, it's, difficult, it's difficult to answer that question simply. So our first release will be a mixture of two cask types right. together. Um, and then as we go over time, the mixture probably will change, but we'll also release different ones, for example, we use different yeasts in the distillery, so that creates different flavors. So as we go over time, we'll also have special releases that's like, this was made with a champagne yeast, this was made with a red wine yeast. So that's our kind of, there's lots of cask finishes out there in the world already, and we wanted to think more about the spirit than just hmm. the cask, so. Well, very much looking forward to them. Thank you, Annabel, for your time awesome. and for the interview, and have fun here in Nuremberg. Thank you, it's a pleasure talking to you. Thank you.